What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another Apparition Net Studio video. So this is just a quick update video to show you guys uh, what we've added in the latest update for Apparition Net Studio version 1.1.2. If you haven't got the update yet, just run the tool, it'll automatically download the latest update and you'll get all of the new features. So the main thing we've added and the main reason I'm making this video is we've finally added a Grand Theft Auto 5 tool. It was the hi most highly requested tool we had from people was for a GTA 5 tool. Now it's still, I would call it still a beta tool because um, we did kind of push it out a bit early, mainly because obviously the dash update for 175.11 came out and that meant that uh, we had to update the tool anyway for the XUID ID spoofers and stuff so they'd work on the new dash. So we just kind of threw the GTA tool in there with all of that. So it's still, I would say, a beta tool because we, we want to add some more stuff to it and there's a few bugs and stuff that we need to get fixed. But even so, I'd say it's the most substantial GTA 5 tool out for Xbox 360 right now, and it's included with the price of AppNet. We're not putting the price up, it's staying at $25, even though we've added a pretty large GTA 5 tool in there. It's all still this whole tool with all the CODs, all the Halos, now GTA 5, Left 4 Dead, you've got your Battlefield mods and your CSGO and all kinds of games and all our console tools and our file manager, built-in neighborhood console manager. It's all still $25. We're not putting the price up. So yeah, let's have a quick look. So GTA 5 tool, when you first open it, it's going to say that this tool is in beta. So there might be a few bugs and more, more stuff will be added later on. Um, so this is the tool as it stands right now. You can get players and that just grabs all of the players in your game. And then of course you've got all of these mods. You've got God Mode, Ragdoll, Unlimited Ammo, Heat Vision, Night Vision, Give Player Health. You can set Wanted Level on people. You can enable Super Sprint and Super Swim, uh, disable cops. You can give weapon, give a specific weapon or give all weapons. And you can also do cash drops for cash drop lobbies. So if you want to do cash drop lobbies online for other people, then you just enter how many bags of cash you want to drop. And each bag, I believe, is worth about 40,000-ish. So 40,000 per cash, uh, per bag, per cash bag. So you can put up as much as you want. So you could spawn in 100, spawn in 50, spawn in 10. It's up to you. Just enter the number, click the button, and it will drop all of the cash bags. Um, then you can drop specific items like health, armor, parachutes. Uh, then you've got the ped manager. Now the ped manager allows you to spawn in basically peds or NPCs. Um, that you can use for various different things. So you can spawn in like animals, like a deer, chimp, different characters. And then of course you can do stuff like hire them as a bodyguard so they'll protect you. Uh, you can also kill them. You can give them god mode, give them unlimited ammo, teleport to them, get them to teleport to you. You can uh, get in a vehicle or make them get in a vehicle. So that's the ped manager. Then you've got the account menu, which allows you to give stuff like fireworks, set your RP, your level. Uh, then you've got skip online tutorials. So when you create your account, when you set up your online profile, and once you've customized your character and you click save and continue, um, it comes up showing your character with a blue background and then it says press A to confirm, which will normally start the online tutorial. At that point, you just click skip tutorial on the tool. And then when you say A to confirm, it will come up with a message saying that you've already done the tutorial. And would you like to just go straight into GTA Online, which you can say yes to, and that skips the whole online tutorial. So give cigarettes, give armor, snacks. Uh, then you've got LSC unlock. So when you're in a vehicle, click that. It will give the vehicle max uh, Los Santos custom stuff. So that stuff like suspension, transmission, uh, turbo, Xeon lights, you know, everything. Everything that Los Santos Customs has, it will give you like the highest level of all of those uh, straight away. Then you can purchase all weapons, uh, get max snacks and cigarettes, unlock all hairstyles, max armor, clear reports, bypass uh, vehicle selling time, and unlock all as well. And that will take a long time, by the way. If you click unlock all, you'll be waiting a while because it has a lot of stuff to unlock. Then there's the vehicle menu, so this lets you spawn in vehicles. Just select a vehicle you want to spawn, and you can, sp and it will spawn right where you're standing. Then you can change the primary color of the vehicle to any one of these colors. You can go all the way to, um, and use a color selector to get a specific color. Um, and then you can do the same with the secondary color. So that's stuff like, um, you know, if it has racing stripes or something like that, or another pattern, it's the secondary color you can change. You can change the license plate. Uh, change vehicle tire smoke, change the suspension, uh, window tint, 
And of course you can change the horn to uh, just scroll through the different horns, reset back to default. And then of course you can set the transmission, engine and brakes, armor, all that stuff. And then page two, you can enable Xeon lights, turbo, bulletproof tires and repair vehicle if it's damaged. Of course, there's vehicle god mode here as well that you can use to make the vehicle invulnerable. And then you've got the map menu. So time of day and weather only works in single player. Um, so all that, that stuff is only going to work in single player. You can set, set the time of day to daytime or nighttime. And then of course you can set custom hours, minutes, seconds and freeze time of day into so that uh, time will not pass. And then of course you can also do teleportation. This will work online. So you can teleport to different locations indoors. There's a bunch of preset locations outdoors. You can also teleport to custom XYZ coordinates and teleport to a selected player. So that is basically what we have for the GTA 5 tool right now. Bear in mind it is a beta tool, so there may be some bugs. And as I said before, we are planning to add a lot more in. We just had to kind of rush it out in order to get the 17511 update out so that um, so that our XUID spoofers and module debugger will work on the latest dash kernel. So that is basically that. Other things we've added, just a few small uh, little extra stuff that we've added. For example, the Left 4 Dead tools can now uh, load CFG files. So if you have an old, if you have an old ISO mod for Left 4 Dead 2, then that are in CFG files, then you can load those directly into the game. Just a few things. We fixed class class editing on Modern Warfare 3 because that wasn't working properly. It was only showing up in private matches. So that is fixed. We've also added God Mode classes into Black Ops 1 because people were requesting God Mode classes, so that's been added as well. And God Mode classes were already in Modern Warfare 3, but for some, pre some reason people didn't seem to know that they were in Modern Warfare 3. We had a little option here called Modded Classes, which was actually God Mode Classes. So we've made it a bit more clear now. We've put it up here and called it God Mode Classes so people know the Modern Warfare 3 tool does have God Mode Classes. It, it always did. But yeah, I guess people were just, I mean, I suppose we should have called them God Mode Classes instead of Modded Classes, but whatever. It's, it's there anyway. So we've got that. And then we've also added a Read Stats option into all of the main Call of Duty tools so that you can read stats from the console because that was also requested. So that is basically um, what we've done in 1.1.2 update. Uh, there's a few other sort of bug fixes and stuff, but that's just small stuff that we fixed um, in the latest update. So we've also updated the settings so that uh, nice mods KVs, if you want to buy a KV from nice mods, you now just click the buy key vault button and it will open up his uh, his page to where you can buy the key vaults. So that is basically the update. That's basically what we've done in version 1.1.2. More to come. We've still got a few more things to fix. We need to add legit stats and various other things to um, AppFrishNet Studio. So there will be some more updates coming out soon. Although, well, I say soon, they'll be probably, they're not going to be out as soon as I was hoping them to be out, mainly because I have a lot of um, college work and stuff that's going on right now. Um, got a lot of stuff to I've got a lot of stuff to work on, so I'm not going to have as much time to work on ApparitionNet Studio. So the updates, any future updates, will be will will be a while, probably till um, maybe late December, maybe about a month or so before the next update. It depends uh, how much work uh, the other developers are going to be doing on it during that time. So. Yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, go ahead and leave it a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And of course, if you want to buy the software, if you haven't bought it already, or you were waiting for GTA 5 to be added before you wanted to buy ApparitionNet Studio, then the link to purchase it is in the description. The link to the website's also in the description. And of course, the link to um, the playlist, which contains all the videos I've made on ApparitionNet Studio so far, so that you can get a detailed look at the other stuff that's in the tool. All that will be linked below in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Shuffling